So on today's call, we have Abia. Uh, Abia, welcome to the call. So could you please start off with giving yourself like a quick introduction, who you are, where you're from, and uh, we can take it from there. Okay. Thank you, uh, Royal. I'm, uh, um, thank you for inviting me. Um, my name is Abiha, and I'm the owner of uh, the Derma Club Aaron Mills, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Uh, and uh, I saw um, your ad on an Instagram. That's how I reached out to you. Uh, and uh, that's how we met. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so I know when we when we originally got in touch, you're actually in the process of opening up your med spa. You you weren't you like you were not launched, you were not open yet. Yes. So um can you elaborate a bit more on that when you saw my ad? I mean, what was going on in your business? Like Yeah, so uh, at that time we were uh, we were going through our soft launch, so we were just uh, we haven't opened for public. We were just doing like friends, family uh um at that time so and but uh, when I saw your ad we were actually at uh, that time we were planning for our grand opening and uh, your ad sounds so promising that uh, it will give us lead so uh, for for our clients so that's why I contacted you to see that if we can uh, avail this opportunity got it okay yeah perfect and then I know that when we originally spoke, you told me a bit about the treatments that you had uh, and I, like the, the treatment technology that you had invested in. So yes. could you give like our audience a quick overview of like what type of machines you're working with, what type of treatments you're offering? Yes. So uh, I have um, most of my machines are from uh, InMod. So mm -hmm. I have uh, a woman wellness. I have uh, uh, Evoke, which is a facial remodeling device, hands-free. And then I have uh, uh, Morpheus, I have Forma. Other than that, I have a regular microneedling and then I have uh, uh, the Oxygen Neo and then I have PRP, PRF, uh, pretty much everything. We also have hair, laser hair removal and uh, Aerolase laser for pigmentation and everything. So these are all the technologies we are working with. Yeah, it's it's like a lot of a lot of different technologies, a lot of different treatments. Yes. So yeah, so so that being said, can you also explain a bit more like about your your team structure since it's not just you? Like how did you Yes, yeah, so I have a medical director, uh, my MD. She's she performed some like injectables. We have like Botox, fillers, uh she also performed the woman wellness uh uh, uh treatment. She also does the IV line, uh, IV vitamin therapy and stuff. Uh, but then there is me as a medical aesthetician. Uh, uh, I perform PRP, PRF, and uh, everything else. Uh, that's about it. We have two provider and one uh, uh, reception staff. That's it. We are like a small, uh, uh, small. Um, the spa med we call we don't call it spa more it's like medical aesthetic clinic more off yeah got it so yeah you you found a team around yourself so just wondering did you already know them before from like before opening the, the clinic or were you actively looking for like staff or like how did you how did you build a team like that yeah so uh for for medical director, I know her before. Uh, she is my family doctor too. But uh, for the uh, for hiring the uh, like my front staff, I did like just some bunch of interviews and then I just hired. Got it. Got it. Um, awesome. So um, okay. So yeah, like you said, when when we originally spoke, you would you had like the the soft launch. You were not really open yet. You were planning yes. for like the grand opening. Mm -hmm. I know you did a lot of preparation and you had a lot of ideas about how to structure your, your memberships and, mm -hmm. and like how you wanted to run the business. Mm -hmm. So what was the thing when you reached out to us? Like what, what, what did you need the most help with? Um, I mean, what piqued you to reach, reach out? Yeah. So uh, the thing is I reach out uh, when I reach out to you, the thing which is most in my mind because when you were talking about in ads that you provide uh, leads and uh, will give uh, this much increase in the business and all so I got attracted to that because uh, I 
we were new so we don't have any other like i couldn't think of that how to reach to our community nowadays because um the flyer the tasting it's like you know it cost us so much with the printing and everything and then people just throw it out so i thought i didn't go that route i didn't get any flyer printed and send it to anybody's home or something like that so i thought the way you are doing it by reaching out through social media to each and every one it's the best thing because uh, nowadays everybody is on, on their phones and they do everything on their phone so that's why i thought that's the best idea uh uh and i was just thinking about it and i just uh, scrolled my instagram and I, then i saw your ad and that's about it Got i said it. why shouldn't i give a try and then obviously i'll check uh Uh, you, I talked to you, you seems nice, then we check the references and we show your work. So it sounds promising and that's why I decided I should go ahead with you. Awesome. Okay, got it, got it. Um, okay, so so that's basically what got you started. Then obviously we mm -hmm. started uh, helping you with getting like RSVPs for the grand opening event as like the start project to to launch our partnership. Mm -hmm. um so i know during the process you've worked with camila who has been helping you with the crm yes. and, and the ads and everything setting everything up mm -hmm. so could you explain a bit more like about how you experienced like working with us once everything was up and running um, yeah working uh it was smooth uh, pretty much nothing uh nothing which i can uh it's just that you know we uh when i'm the one basically managing everything uh it's right now so yeah so uh for so it was it was pretty much present nothing much uh I, once i just set up everything was like automated pretty much so i don't have to you know go again and again uh to reach out to anyone so it was pretty much smooth uh experience our uh, camilla was very nice she was very helpful she um even after the when the people rsvp she talked to me and she told me that you know you can call them and ask them for plus one if uh, so she gave me lots of uh uh interesting tips which which worked because i called uh people that you can bring uh, your friends your family so there was one a lady she bought her husband her son and like her daughter like four or five people so uh but uh, yeah so it was uh, it was nice and the way you um uh it was pretty much smooth nothing nothing too complicated in like uh understanding the process and uh, the results we get so For us, this was uh, pretty much uh, nice. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so that was that that was a great tip to to ask for like more people. So that yeah. that one person, they basically bought their they brought their entire family to the to the opening event, mm -hmm. like four or five people. Got it. Nice. Um, okay, so so that being said, I mean results wise, can you can you explain a bit more like about how the your your grant opening was in terms of like the RSVPs? Uh, yes, so uh, uh, we so just because I haven't like make any cold calls or I didn't I told you that we did not do any other source of uh, marketing other than a uh, you. Mm -hmm. So we got like around uh. 37 in two weeks you just did it like for two weeks actively on the social media uh before our opening and we got 37 rsvp yeah. and um, people were like whoever showed up that day they were like very excited they all like when i was telling them them i'm uh, like i'm a biha they're like yeah we saw you on the uh, video so we know who you are and we also know your md so we saw the ad so they give they give us a reference so it was uh, it was nice that um, they recognize you with because the video we make actually what uh, we did we we make a short video and uh, inviting people to our grand opening and that was your idea the royal idea so for my opening i did not do any other uh, kind of uh, marketing or social media ads or nothing it was just with what royal told us to do so um 
the video idea was like I was a little bit shy making it. I was reluctant. I've never did this, but uh, it turned out good. We <laughs> we did it, and um, then everybody recognized us, and they were like, "Oh, we saw you on the Facebook. You came there." <laughs> so yeah, it was pleasant. And then uh, they were like, "Oh, what's evoke?" Uh, they were talking about evoke. So please tell us evoke, and we are having like a five to ten minutes a free evoke. Uh, trial so they all took it and even uh one lady she came when the party was over we were just uh, cleaning up and she said oh i i was late but i just want to know about evoke mm. so i told her uh okay this is evoke so yeah so at least um so even uh, i got like one membership sold and uh lots of uh lots of uh botox uh party like lots of people got the botox done and they like the skincare analysis and they bought some skincare uh, products uh, overall it was a good uh, a good uh, like experience like it's not that we just did the party and didn't make and earn anything that day we did so yeah it was it was like what i said that having just being with the royal and i haven't done any like printing or sending flyers so it was uh it was good uh uh overall it was an excellent uh, turnover uh doesn't matter if so many people showed up or less people showed up it's just that uh, uh whoever showed up they bought something and they like and they tried out and they uh, they said that they will come again so that's mm -hmm. most more promising than so many people show up and then they won't take anything and they just left so yeah. so i will say that it 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 was uh like i will say on my part it was a good decision and on a royal uh uh, uh effort it was good effort uh, by yeah. him as well thank you thank you so yeah but i agree with that so even if people who did show up to the event but maybe they didn't purchase like a membership or a package at the time mm -hmm. You still introduce them to your treatments and maybe they will come back at a later time or later on in the month or maybe it was not the right time for them during the event but at yeah. least they, they got to see you they got to see the rest of the staff mm -hmm. and um yeah i think that's a great way to uh yeah to to promote the business yeah. so that being said so is there anything else that you would say to let's say there's someone else in the same position as you were like opening a med spa mm -hmm. or doesn't really know how to generate new clients or was relying on like uh, flyers or like, you know, traditional marketing, mm -hmm. what, would you, what would you say to them? No, I will definitely say to them that they should, uh, they should go towards the digital marketing and the way you are doing it with the landing page and stuff. It looks more authentic and it's uh, give people that at least uh, they're, they're not, uh, you know, they're not giving their, it looks more authentic like to me that if they are not they're just not random people they are some like they are in your neighborhood they do exist something like that but for, because uh for the traditional it's no more effective you are paying to the printer you're printing thousand flyers and they're just they don't even look at it they just throw away the flyers like oh whatever one more and they have a bunch in their mail they go over it like you know, whatever, and they keep on throwing it. Like we do it as well with same, we just go, okay, any coupon or something? No, okay, whatever. So I don't, uh, like if it, either you're printing coupons, that's something else, but just to, you cannot, like by flyering, you cannot ask people and uh, to RSVP and you cannot get confirmation that your ad reaches so many people and, you know, you cannot see like with with Roy, Peter marketing, I can see that. OK, uh, so I uh, so this these many people saw the ad, these many people are as I can at least collect the data, even if nothing. So uh, it's more satisfying to see what the results are right away with RSVP and uh, viewing uh, on the, your Facebook and Instagram rather than because nobody, I don't think so, flyering and the traditional method. You, 
unless you're like a social butterfly, everybody knows you wherever you go, then that is something else that word of mouth works for you. But for people like me, um, I, I, like I was used to be a, 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 like I'm a doctor back home, but over here I'm like busy running my uh, family and, you know, settling down in Canada. So I was, I don't have so much of social circle. So it was good for me to, you know, go through the uh, uh, feature and uh, it works. So Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then, especially then, I think it's nice when you do like, when you put out a video ad in which you're showing your face and then when you have people showing up and they're telling you, hey, I saw you yeah, in the video. Yeah, that I was a good you. experience. Yeah, they it's know. It's like you're a famous like person. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, yeah. oh, we saw you, we saw your ad, we know who you are. <laughs> like, even before, uh, like, as they came in, they were like, we know you. And even who, uh, friends and some friends and family member who didn't show up, they were like out of country or something. Even they saw the ad and they text me that, oh, we saw your ad. Uh, so they were like congratulating. They were really happy about it. So, um, so yeah, it was your publicity and no publicity is a bad publicity so <laughs> spreading the word was our goal and that was achieved so exactly perfect well i'm glad to hear that and yeah so lastly um yeah so basically what you say is like when like the way how we help you to to get rsvps and leads it's more mm -hmm. rewarding because you can actually measure the results so for instance yes. if you spend let's say a hundred dollars to facebook you know exactly what you got back from it like this many people mm -hmm. reached this many leads signed up this many people actually booked an appointment or rsvp is that what you mean yes okay perfect awesome well thank you so much for uh for the for your time and then um yeah we'll stay on the call a bit longer but for now yes, thank you so sure. much okay sure